Welcome back guys, Max here, and today we'll be doing a three-part series on how to replace green screens with After Effects. Now it's three-part series because the first part is a static image or a static laptop with a green screen where the camera doesn't move. The second part is a phone that is moving around a bit, so we've got to track it. And the third part is a phone that is moving around a bit, but there's a finger swiping up and down on the screen. So kind of the same process to do each one, but each one offers a little bit different of a challenge to get done. So this is the first part. If you'd like to check out the second or the third, click on the videos on the screen right now. Other than that, we're going to get started with number one. Now, feel free to jump down into the description and click that Mediafire link to download the project file with the assets to follow along with this tutorial. So that should be helpful, so kudos to that. Other than that, let's get started with part one. So once you download your file, it'll look pretty much just like this. And we're going with footage piece number one. You can see piece number two, which is the phone that moves around a bit. And this one is the finger that moves up and down a bit. But number one is just this static image. The camera does seem to move a little bit, that's my fault, but it's not a big deal at all. So what we'll do on footage piece number one, we'll right click new comp from selection, which will just create a composition for us to replace. Now how you bring in your own footage doesn't matter. As long as it ends up in a composition, you should be good. The first step is to create a solid. We'll right click new solid and we'll make the solid the resolution of a MacBook Pro with a retina display because that's what that is right there. You can make it a different resolution, but as long as it fits this ratio, you should be good. So 2880 by 1800 off the top of my head. How cool is that? Now, if you want to make the resolution a little smaller, just lock the aspect ratio and you can make it smaller from here. But other than that, I'll just leave it at 2880 and click OK. Black solid number one, we'll call it screen. Cool. Now, it's pretty big, as you can see. If you zoom out, but what we'll do is we'll click effects and presets and we'll type corner pin. Corner pin this right on the black solid and we'll just drag these corners in just like this. Move it kind of over right here and let's drop the mode down to classic difference. Actually no. Normal. Click T on our keyboard to change the opacity so we can kind of see between. Click back on our corner pin in the effect controls panel and kind of just drag it to the corners. Really, really simple. Nothing too complicated. And because the camera is static, we don't have to necessarily track the screen. That's what's great about this. So we're just lining these up pretty much exact. Just like that. And there we go. Cool. Change the opacity back up to 100%. And the next step is we're going to right click screen, pre compose, leave all attributes in one. Let's go screen uh, flat. Click OK. And if we double click screen flat, it is pretty much a flat screen. So, what we can do is we can type some text on here. Doesn't matter what it is. We can kind of scale it up. And then we can go go to effects. Type fill and effects and presets. Drop the fill onto our background. Just for now, change it to whatever color. I did purple. And we'll do a fill on the text because that is really annoying. Let's do white text. It shows up really well. And jump back to our number one composition and it looks like it's on there. Now technically you could be done. Just hit play. And it looks pretty lined up. It's very, very believable. But we can do a couple extra things to sell this. Now, first step, let's just hide this. We could easily go to effects and presets and type key light. 1.2, drag it onto our one. Take the picker and drop it onto the green. Screen color. We'll go to combine matte to see um, the white and black of this. Then we'll go to screen matte. We'll clip the black more and go clip the white back some, just like that. Go to final result 
and do the replace method to hard color. And now the green is gone, which is pretty awesome. So we can turn our screen back on. So if we drop it under the one, it's behind the laptop now, which is great. Just like that. So the next step is on our screen. We'll take the screen flat, go to layer, layer style, inner glow. Then drop down the inner glow, change the color to a dark. And we're only doing this to sell the effect a little more. Change the blend mode to normal. Make the size a little bigger. So it kind of like, as you can see, makes like an inside of the screen a little bit. Opacity down some. If you turn it on and off, I think it just kind of like sells it a little bit for us. Just like that. Next, what we can do is jump into the screen flat, double click the the pre-composition to jump in the screen flat, right click new, adjustment layer, you will type blinds, which will pop up Venetian blinds, drop the Venetian blinds onto the adjustment layer, let's do the transition to like, I don't know, 1%, 2%, 3%, looks pretty good, width, 25 I guess. Nah, let's do 15. That looks pretty good. And then we'll go to box blur. And drop that onto the adjustment layer. Blur radius, 0.1. I don't know, 0.5? 1. That just kind of blurs it a little bit. No screen is perfect. So jump back to 1. We got these little lines in the screen to kind of give it more of a, a screen effect. And what we can do is just hit play. And yeah, we have completely replaced the screen. Looks pretty good. Now the, the footage does move a little bit in the beginning, but if it were me, I would just, you know, trim this composition in the very beginning and play it just from here where it doesn't move. And we don't really need that beginning. So that is how you quickly replace a screen on something that doesn't move. Now if the hand was moving in front of the screen, it'd be really easy because we scrap we dropped the screen under it and it didn't matter at all because the green screen the key light got rid of the green screen. But other than that, um, we're gonna go start with part two soon and take on a new challenge with some tracking. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.